Hello everyone, that's Mohammed, and this video is an update for my PWM tutorial. I will show you how to use PWM timer with the STM3204 discovery board. Uh, and that's pretty much the same for other STM boards as well, as long as you're using Cubamix. Uh, so with PWM, there are two things that you've got to control, the PWM frequency and the duty cycle. And that's what I'm going to walk you through in Cubamix today. So let's start by opening Cubamix. And on here, click on your project. Uh, and select the right board, uh, STM3204 or 7 in my case, uh, and it's the VGT version. And on the pinout, we need to enable one of the timers and set it to BWM generation. So I'm going to scroll down and select uh, timer 1, um, select a clock source to internal clock, and I'll enable channel 1 and set it to BWM generation. And this enable PE9, so your PWM output will be on. PE9. Uh, and now let's go to the configuration window and set the PWM frequency uh, and duty cycle. So, and click on timer one, and we're gonna select a prescaler. Uh, we're gonna set a prescaler of 16 to bring the clock down to one megahertz, uh, because the clock frequency by default of the timers APP1 peripheral timer clock is 16 megahertz. So when I set a prescaler of 16, this will bring the clock down to one megahertz. And I want to set the period of uh, 100, so this will bring the clock speed further down to uh, 10 kilohertz. Uh, 16 megahertz divided by 16 is 1 megahertz, divided by 100 is 10 kilohertz. Uh, then the duty cycle, we configure it uh, using something called pulse, and this is a relative value relative to the period. So if I set this one uh, to 100, then the duty cycle will be 100. Uh, if I set it to 50, which is half the period, it's going to be 50% duty cycle. Uh, but be careful here. If, if your period is 200, then 50% duty cycle is a pulse of 100, not just 50. So I hope you got the idea. So, and that's pretty much all we need to do to uh, set the frequency and duty cycle. So I'm going to set the frequency to 10 kilohertz, ideal PWM frequency, and I'll set the duty cycle to uh, 50% to start off with. Uh, and that's it, so click OK. And we're ready to generate the source code. So click on this icon and give the project a name. I'm going to call it PWM Video. Uh, select a location to store it in. I uh, want to store it in here and select the right IDE. Call Microvision 5 in my case and click OK. And once this is done, click on Open Project. This will take you to Call Microvision IDE. Uh, and on here, uh, expand the project folder and open the main. So go to application user and uh, click on the main. Uh, and on here, uh, we just want to double check uh, on the timer settings. So I'm going to scroll down. So here's the timer initialization. Prescale of 16, period of 100, and a pulse of 50, which correspond to 50% duty cycle. Uh, now let me start the timer. You start the PWM timer uh, by calling a function called hull tim pwm start uh, and this function takes a uh, couple of parameters the tim handle tab diff so it's tim1 a pointer to that this is defined by cubemx at the top here so this is the uh, timer handle tab diff it's tim1 and the second parameter is the channel so tim channel 1 because we're using pwm channel 1 and this will start the pwm timer immediately so let's compile the code load it to the board and have a look at the uh, output. Alright, compiled successfully without any errors, now let's load it to the board. Uh, and now let's have a look at the oscilloscope and you take the output on PE9. Alright, very good, we got our PWM signal successfully, uh, frequency is 10 kHz and duty cycle of 50%. Now let me experiment with the duty cycle. I'm going to change, bring it down to 25% uh, and see the output. Okay, good. We've got our 25% duty cycle working as well. Um, and now let me show you how to change the duty cycle uh, programmatically during the code. So if you're running a certain code and want to change the uh, a duty cycle in your main, and that's how you do it. So, the, it, you call the STIM1 uh, handle tab diff uh, dot instance, 
and you go to the CCR1 register, capture, compare, register number one for channel one. If using channel two, then register number two or three or four. There are only four channels at each timers. So we're using channel one, and you set the uh, duty cycle simply in here as the pulse. So if I set 25, this will be exactly similar to the one I did at the bottom, will give me 25% duty cycle. Uh, and now I'm going to write a quick code to increment the duty cycle by 10% every second, uh, just to demonstrate. Uh, and that's how you do it. So I define a variable, I call it a duty cycle, and initialize it to 10, 10%. Uh, and then you write this value to the uh, capture compare register number one for channel one, uh, increment the duty cycle by 10, and wait for one second, and repeat that cycle. And if the duty cycle exceeded 90, start again at 10%. So let me compile the code, load it to the board, and have a look at the uh, oscilloscope. Alright, great. This is working as well. Uh, and that's uh, everything I want to show you today. Uh, this brings me to the end of my tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. And as always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.